take three. Now, if the phone rings, I'm going to let it ring. And if someone walks in and talks to me, you're going to hear me yell at them. I don't care. I got ten minutes, and I got to get this done. And I'm at the end of my rope. Yes, it's that time of the month. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Actually, this was quite fun. This is Color Throwdown 383. The colors this week were orange, yellow, green, and white. And yes, it has to be uploaded and posted today by 5 o'clock my time. So I got to get this done. All right. I can never remember when my sister-in-law's birthday is. I missed her birthday, so I made her a belated birthday card. My sister-in-law is an avid gardener. I don't know if she grows flowers. I know she grows veggies. So here's what I used. First, for the paper. Let's hope I can find my paper. My paper for the pot is this piece right here. Okay. Now, I wanted to get these drips in there because I think the drips look cool, but I couldn't really find a spot that was over orange except for right here. And that just looks a little too bloody for my liking, so I turned it on its side. Okay. And I used this bit over here. Now, I know you can't really see, but you can see that it's got this little bit of, of this coloring here, okay? And mine is larger. What I did was I made a template using, oh boy, do you think I can find my stuff when I want it? I used my, my tools for my embossing paste, okay? First, I used this bottom part here, the very bottom of my spreader. These are from Dreamweavers. And I used this edge from what they call a Picasso tool because you can see it's got several different shapes. Yes, I'm doing this on my bed. Tough luck. Anyways, so <laughs> I took and I, uh, I used this straight edge and this corner to figure out my angle for my flower pot. Okay, and like I said, I made a template, I put it on the back, figured out how far in to put it, and then drew around it and cut it out. That gave me well, basically this. Then I took a white distress marker and I colored in down here because I wanted to give it a little bit of highlight, but when it came in, it was coming in too bright for my tastes. So what I did was I wet my finger, I just licked my finger, and I rubbed on it. Cool thing about distress markers, they react with water. So it kind of smeared it so it looks a little like a highlight. Then I took uh, my cool gray Spectrum Noirs. Okay, I worked with IG2 and IG4, and I colored these edges so it had more of a rounded look. But then I thought, well, why not just go ahead and round them? So I grabbed my tool kit. You guys have seen this before. And my big ball. And I curved the pot. Then I uh, took the this um, border trim that was also in that same packet that I got this paper from, from the Kaiser Craft... Uh, Chasing Rainbows pack, and I just took and rounded the corners and foam taped that on. Then I double foamed down the center, single foamed on the sides, kind of bent these down a little bit so those curve too. Now for the flowers, I used my moments. These are yellow daisies. I don't know if I got these from Spectrum Noir, but I have a feeling, or not Spectrum Noir, from uh, uh, Scrapbooking Made Simple. I'm pretty sure I probably got them from Paper Wishes in a pack with some other things. Um, every Thursday they have a one-day special, and I may have gotten them in there. But those are nice. They have their self-sticky. And then for the white flowers, 
I use these from Kaiser Craft. I'll give you the code on the back. They're just paper flowers. Okay. And they come with this stem. Now, I didn't cut the stem. What I did was I used my tool kit again. And this time, I used that pokey tool. And I just poked a hole. And I put the, the wire down in the back of the of the, the mat, okay, and I put three of those in, three of the yellows. So that was done. And I looked at it and I thought, well, it needs a little more. Now this paper is a double-sided paper. I cannot find the paper pack, so I cannot tell you who made it. I might be able to put it into the description box down below, but I more than likely won't. I My daughter dug through my stuff and I don't know where it wound up at. Um, on the edges, I used my my Versamark and inked around the edges. Uh, Versamark is a sticky thing. You probably think of it more for embossing powders. I used it with my Perfect Pearls. This is Festive Green. So, oh, more green. Okay. Then, on the inside, I used the reverse of my matte paper. Okay. I can't show you the other side, but trust me, this is the reverse of that. And it has this cute little lattice. And I used a stamp that I got from scrap of note from Paper Wishes called Dog Birthday or something like that. And it says, Dog Gone and I missed your birthday because I missed my sister in law's birthday. And then I'm giving her a packet of carrots from this is actually from Territorial Seed Company. They're a really good seed company, by the way, if you are interested. Uh, they used to be cheaper, but you know how the economy is going. So, that is my sister-in-law's birthday card. I'll slip that back in here when I get done. And so, um, yeah, look at that, seven minutes. I got three minutes to spare. Wow. I can't believe that. So... Yeah, there were several things I was thinking of doing instead, but this is the way that I went. And I, I really like the card. I think it's cute. Okay, there's my card. Bye!